Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, low 73. Chance of rain, 50%. Wednesday, thunderstorms likely, high 83. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. And this is my baby right now. So it's just not the right time to get pregnant. That's why I chose Skyla. Skyla is the small, flexible IUD that prevents pregnancy for up to three years. So for me, there are no daily pills or monthly refills. I got my Skyla placed in just a few minutes at my OBGYN's office. And if I want to try to get pregnant, I can get it removed whenever I want. If you have a pelvic infection, get infections easily, or have certain cancers, don't use Skyla. Less than 1% of users get a serious infection called PID. If you have persistent pelvic or stomach pain, or if Skyla comes out, tell your doctor. Skyla may attach or go through the uterus and cause other problems. Pregnancy while using Skyla is uncommon, but can be life-threatening and may result in loss of pregnancy or fertility. Ovarian cysts may occur, but usually disappear. Bleeding and spotting may increase in the first three to six months and remain irregular. Periods over time usually become shorter, lighter, or may stop. Skyla does not protect against HIV or STDs. Talk to your OBGYN about making the move to Skyla. Check with your insurance to find out if you can get Skyla at no cost. Are you missing out on life because you're putting off neck or back? Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery, to learn how a less than one inch incision can have you up and walking within a few hours of surgery, free from chronic back pain and with no hospital stay and no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for your MRI review. When you're in that much pain and you live on painkillers, you really don't have quality of life. I feel like Laser Spine Institute was an answer to prayer. It's just the heavens had opened up and it was like, I can live again. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-401-BACK for your MRI review. Laser Spine Institute, a less than one inch incision, a lifetime of standing tall. And we took the kids to have our family picture taken with Santa Claus and I was bigger than Santa. There are very few pictures because I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to face it. That was then. This is now. I've lost 40 and a half pounds on Nutrisystem. I'm Michelle, and I lost 41 pounds. Lose weight fast with Nutrisystem's Fast 5 Plus Kit. I looked and thought I can do this. It's working. Lose five pounds in your first week, plus one inch off your waist, or your money back, guaranteed. And when I looked down at that scale and I realized how much I had lost, I, I was I was through the roof. Order your 28-day Nutrisystem plan and get 28 days of great-tasting meals. That's four weeks of delicious food, perfectly portioned, ready in minutes, and delivered right to your door. They cook better than I do, so it's a win-win for me. <laughs> we can get dessert, I get cookies and cake, and I lost weight. That's why it's America's number one home delivery diet. Nutrisystem. Millions of people have lost weight with it. You can too. Well, I wear jeans that I probably couldn't have even fit in in high school. I've lost 41 pounds. He's lost 32 pounds. So together, what is it? 73, right? Call or click right now and order your 28-day Nutrisystem plan, including Fast 5 Plus. Get one week of specially selected meals, plus one week of energizing shakes to rev your metabolism free, and one week of craving crusher shakes to crush those cravings free. Plus, call now and your shipping is free. Act fast and get the all-new NutriCurb free. Introducing NutriCurb, a great way to control your appetite while you lose weight. NutriCurb works with your body's own appetite control mechanism to delay hunger signals to your brain. So, instead of just feeling full, with NutriCurb, you feel less hungry in the first place. I tell everybody it's Nutrisystem and it's easy and you can do it. That's right. Call within the next five minutes and get free energizing shakes, free craving crusher shakes, free shipping, and a free supply of NutriCurb to control your hunger. Call now, 877-939-THIN, and lose your first five pounds fast.
And now today, because hey, that, all those videos, was the power of just one storm system moving its way across the majority of the country. We start out in the snow side of things. Thursday, our area of low pressure set up shop over the four corners and was barely budging. Sure, we had some showers and some storms, even some flood reports down towards the Gulf on Thursday. But notice what happened Thursday into Friday. The low doesn't move. By the time it does leave the Rockies, four to five feet of snow in some cases. Plus, by Friday, we start to get into the severe weather. Notice the moisture plume across Texas into Oklahoma. 82 preliminary storm reports on Friday, and that was just the beginning. By Saturday, storms were breaking out here across the plains, across the southeast. We had 164 preliminary reports into the Storm Prediction Center. Sunday, the big winner or loser, as the case may be. A huge swath of severe weather developed a couple of different rounds came through the southeast and through the Ohio Valley. 442 preliminary reports that day. And as you well know, Monday, cold front comes through the southeast and the mid-Atlantic during the day. Another 163 reports. So when all is said and done, we were getting pretty close to 700 severe weather reports in just a few days as our storm moves all the way across the country. Viv, now today we got this big trough of low pressure, cooler air, stabilizing factor. Hopefully that stays around for the next seven days. Yes, that's a look at the last seven days but what about the next seven days as we have that trough with the cooler air now and actually a little bit of light snow over the air ahead of Minnesota today and into the Great Lakes area, kind of mixing in with some chilly rain. We still have rain in the forecast over parts of the Northeast, but definitely moving out. What a better day today over most of the South and the Mid-Atlantic. Temperatures in the low 70s and dew points are fairly low as well, so not very humid over much of the South. Now tomorrow, things will change as we watch the next system. It'll swing across parts of the northeast, but at the same time, we have an area of low pressure that'll be coming out of the southwest, and it'll tap into the southerly winds and the low-level moisture that will build across parts of Texas and Louisiana, even into southern Arkansas and the southern parts of Oklahoma. There is the chance that some of those storms could turn severe tomorrow, and Thursday, still a pocket of instability across parts of the south here, including the lower Mississippi Valley looking great, albeit a little chilly over the Great Lakes with those temperatures remaining below average, say around Chicago and Minneapolis. And then just a little bit of light rain, much needed here, and maybe some snow as you get well above 7,000 feet or so over the Sierra Nevada and then kind of spreading over into Utah. And even some light rain returns to the Pacific Northwest on your TGIF with a bulk of the rain right here in the heart of the country. So the rain will return by the end of the week for us over the southeast here and the Tennessee Valley with a large area of green in the forecast or on this forecast map on Saturday. Still some leftover showers on Sunday and watching much of the Pacific Northwest with the return of the showers. Mark. And as we want to, as we go to break, we want to show you something extremely amazing. Look at this. This is a picture sent in by Amanda Curtis off of Twitter of two double rainbows. How does this happen when there's only one one rainbow formed the normal way, sun through the raindrop. The other bounced the sun's r rays off of Oyster Bay and formed another double rainbow. Photos are great for capturing your world, and now they can transform it. With the new Angie's List app, you can get projects done in a snap. Take a photo of your project or just tell us what you need done, and Angie's List will find a top-rated provider to do the job. Start your project for free today. Average women's tees versus a gawking gopher. Duluth trading long tail tees versus a gawking gopher. The Duluth long tail tee. Two extra inches to defend your back end. Get one only at DuluthTrading.com. Where you get your weather matters. This is a large and dangerous tornado. That's why we get real local the moment you need it. We are live in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Florida. Real accurate. This is round one of the severe storms that are coming through. From real experts on the ground. That is a gust front for you right there in dusty Texas. Wow. Where you get your weather matters. This is basically what makes the Weather Channel. Keep the Weather Channel on. Here at the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel is out in full force today. Only the Weather Channel.
Currently in our area, 80 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms, high 84, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 40%. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, low 73, chance of rain 50%. Wednesday, thunderstorms likely, high 83, chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Market. New slow braised pulled pork. So tender it falls apart. Topped with zesty barbecue or garlic citrus sauce. A bold new taste from the slow roasting experts at Boston Market. Six smoky hours. One tasty dish. Slow braised pulled pork. Now at Boston Market. 25,000 mornings, give or take, is all we humans get. We spend them on treadmills, we spend them in traffic. And if we get lucky, really lucky, it dawns on us to go spend them in a world where a simple sunrise can still be magic. 25,000 mornings. Make sure some of them are pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. You pay your auto insurance premium every month on the dot. You're like the poster child for paying on time. And then one day you tap the bumper of a station wagon. No big deal until your insurance company jacks up your rates. You freak out. What good is having insurance if you get punished for using it? Hey, insurance companies, newsflash. Nobody's perfect. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. The FDA issued a public notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, and bladder sling. Please call now if you had one of these devices implanted in the last five years. You may be entitled to a cash award. If you had a transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, or bladder sling in the last five years, please call 1-866-686-7952 now. When it comes to Medicare, everyone talks about what happens when you turn 65. But really, it's what you do before that counts. See, Medicare doesn't cover everything, only about 80% of Part B medical costs. The rest is on you. Consider an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, it could really save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. So call now and request this free decision guide. Discover how an AARP Medicare Supplement Plan could go long for you. Do you want to choose your doctors? Avoid networks. What about referrals? All plans like these let you visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients with no networks and virtually no referrals needed. So call now, request your free guide, and explore the range of AARP Medicare supplement plans. 65 may get all the attention, but now is a good time to start thinking about how you want things to be. Go long. It was right on top of us, and then it hit. took it to the edge. Didn't give up. A better day in New England as rain moves away finally. But this takes you through yesterday's wild storms in the mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. It's a time-lapse view of the storms that moved over Cumberland, Maryland. Now you see the clouds build, the storms start to rage, and then... Well, a pot of gold with a rainbow uh, with the sun finally coming back out. Storms hit Hagerstown, Maryland with P to dime size hailstones yesterday. Now let's check in with Mark, who's making sure you know what's coming next. And unfortunately, Viv, it means more severe weather over the next several days. Many of the same locations that just at the beginning uh, or the I should say the end of last week we were dealing with 
with severe weather there too. So let's get right on into it because this is a threat you need to be aware of. Right now, you can see that we've got this dip in the jet stream over here, dry, cool air over the east. That tends to stifle severe weather even across the whole country. That said, this trough is going to be pulling away while this little spin off the west coast comes inland and fires up the severe weather again. We can time this out for you. Looking at the mid-level spin, our trough moves away and we focus our attention on this counterclockwise flow. We warm up through the center and eastern portion of the country. This low moves in and really kicks up the severe weather. This feature is one that is really going to pack a punch. Let's start out tomorrow. We're already going to be having the jet stream cutting across the southern plains while the low level flow is coming up from the south. So you notice that's a big change in direction for the winds aloft and the winds coming from the surface that can start to support some organized thunderstorms and some spinning thunderstorms. Plus, we've got the warm front draped across the area, which often gives a little bit more rotation. So this is an area that we're going to really focus in on for tomorrow. And you notice that's North Texas. In much of Texas will see big storms as will Louisiana and Arkansas, but the spinning storm threat looks highest in North Texas, including in Dallas, where tomorrow there's a torque on of four, a 40% chance of seeing a tornado uh, within any 50 mile radius. Storm threat in the afternoon, hail and wind looking likely, isolated tornadoes possible as those storms roll on by. And that's day one. Day two, Thursday, the setup not changing much. Maybe the jet stream a little bit further north. We get increasing amounts of moisture though, so maybe even more thunderstorm activity. And you get the mid-level winds really starting to crank, and that gives you the spin. And notice, that's the same location again. So much of Texas, Louisiana, possibly into southern Arkansas, severe weather on the map. And the best spin? North Texas, Dallas, a four out of 10 on the Torcon scale. Again, another round Thursday, late evening storms this time, potentially continuing overnight. Make sure you have a way to get your warnings well before this storm system gets here. And then by Friday, our upper level disturbance finally comes all the way out of the west, but we also have a strengthening surface low. This low, along with the moisture coming up from the south and the dry air punch from the four corners will again give you that lifting mechanism needed to take that moisture and turn it into storms. Friday might be the most dangerous day along that dry line as it plunges its way eastbound. San Antonio, Dallas, Shreveport, New Orleans all could see storms. And look, a lot of you under Torcon values for Friday. Viv. All right, well, as we get you ready for the days ahead, we want to take you back across the southeast after the region was rocked by severe weather just yesterday. Check this out in North Carolina, pounded by the hail. Uh, this video coming in out of Kannapolis, which is just outside of the Charlotte area, North Carolina, with reports of quarter size hailstones and winds were gusting up to 60 miles per hour in some places. Meanwhile, storms moving through Pennsylvania spawned this wall cloud over the town of Chambersburg. Now, this is along I-81, the corridor there. This video was shot right before a tornado warning was issued, but thankfully, no actual reports of any tornadoes. And a hailstorm across parts of Georgia. This along I-85, Atlanta, you were under a tornado warning for part of the afternoon yesterday. Of course, we were covering it minute by minute, and we were very frightened because it did look as though those clouds could spawn a tornado. Now take a look at this surveillance video out of Citrus Springs in Florida. What starts out as heavy rain quickly turns into a massive burst of wind, bending trees and spending and, and, and sending debris just flying everywhere. Yesterday was quite a mess to say the least. Yeah, that's amazing video. It looks like a downburst mm -hmm. there with all that water and wind pushing yes, down. All from yesterday. Stay with us. We'll check out the forecast. So don't go away. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms, high 84, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low, 73. Chance of rain, 50%.
Wednesday, thunderstorms likely. High, 83. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Right now on Weather Center Live. When it rains, it pours, and sometimes it hails, too. We saw this all too well Monday afternoon and evening as storms raced across the southeast. We are sharing your amazing views of this dangerous weather coming up. And what a difference a day makes from tornado warnings yesterday in parts of the south to this right now in hot Atlanta. Still a little windy, but that's all. Enjoy the sun while you can. We have to tell you about the returning rain. We also have to tell you about severe storms that will be returning as you plan for tomorrow and the several days after that. We're talking about more hail, more wind, more tornadoes possible. We're preparing you for it all, and it all continues right here, right now on Weather Center Live. It was a dangerous Monday in the East, so happy Tuesday. Much quieter. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Elliott. And I'm Vivian Brown. Yes, after dealing with the harsh realities of winter for so long, spring is really picking up steam. Yeah, but unfortunately, that means round after round mm -hmm. of powerful storms. Mm -hmm. And for the south and the mid-Atlantic yesterday, we saw quite a bit of it. The evidence was very real. Check out the lightning show over College Park, Maryland. Now, along with the storms came heavy rain and strong winds. A Break today, but more thunderstorms are possible tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, in Anderson, South Carolina, storms ripped the roof right off of this house, and the back of this same house simply collapsed. Now, the family was inside the home at the time, but luckily, no one was hurt. Storms also uprooted some nearby trees, resulting, of course, from the high wind. Heavy rain and quarter-sized hailstones also slammed the city. And in Miami, we'll take you there now, Mark. Yeah, Viv, Miami's seeing some clouds, maybe some showers nearby. Temperature's not bad in the upper 70s, but I wouldn't advise taking the boat out or at least not going far because there's going to be more thunderstorm activity in South Florida today, more lightning strike potential across South Florida. We're going to be talking about how Florida is the U.S. capital for lightning strikes as the uh, hour of Weather Center Live goes on. But for now, let's just show you where those storms are because those storms really packing a punch as we go through midweek here. Uh, right now we're seeing storms in South Florida. There is lightning with these in extreme South Florida, and these are going to be affecting portions of the Keys too. Zooming in for you so you can see where they are. Here's the uh, kind of corridor of stormy weather. Most of the Keys are dry for now, but this could bend a little bit further south. Uh, we're also expecting the storms to fill in. Right now there's a storm in between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. North Miami Beach, you're going to see some rain coming on in. And it's not done, right? Here we go as we uh, put our high resolution models to work here through the day, uh, through 6, 7 o'clock, we're seeing showers and storms. Maybe a steadier batch of rain coming in from the Gulf as we go through the overnight hours. So we're really going to be dealing with round after round of rain. And here's why. That front that bent down through the southeast and gave all the severe weather yesterday, it stalls out over Florida. So it doesn't clear out the moisture the way it has in, say, Birmingham and Atlanta and Charlotte. Instead, abundant low-level moisture still flowing on in. That means today, heavy rain and scattered thunder storms will continue on and off through South Florida. Tomorrow we're looking at more of the same. Scattered storms will continue to be a factor as we uh, look towards the end of the week. Nothing changing, right? Scattered storms will continue. Lots of lightning with these storms also. So for the Miami area, Viv, you've got this thunderstorm in the forecast each and every day. Yeah, and while that system stalls out over Florida, we'll be watching a brand new one push across the southeast as we go through the next 48 hours. So let's detail that one because the severe threat ramps up again. But let's enjoy today and tomorrow over parts of the Mid-South, as Mark mentioned. Talk about year to date. Now, this is... Uh, something good to point out. I mean, up to average now, we would have over 250 tornado reports. But so far this year, we've only had 118. So we're 54% below average in terms of tornadoes. And that is a good thing. However, we're watching the atmosphere. It could become prime for more tornadic activity as we watch an area of low pressure spin off the southern coast of California. It'll get caught up in the jet stream winds and flow over New Mexico. 
Mexico and West Texas. And once it does so, it could very well interact with the low-level moisture that's coming in from the western Gulf of Mexico. And with that said, we're kind of setting the stage for the severe weather tomorrow across Texas, Oklahoma, southern Arkansas, into Louisiana. And that will continue right on into tomorrow night, we believe. And then on Thursday, still unstable enough to still see the showers and storms. And as you saw, the difference in wind flow at the south, winds coming in from the south, but across the west or in the upper levels, we're talking about winds coming in from the west. So that wind shear along or that wind profile is conducive for tornadic activity. So tomorrow we're watching northern Texas with a 40% chance of tornadoes and in southern Oklahoma, a 30% chance of tornadoes. We'll be here watching the radar for sure. Back to you, Mark. And Viv, in the southeast where the rain has finally ended, people are just whistling their way to work. Is it here comes the sun, doo 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 doo, or at last the sun has come along? Maybe you can see clearly now because the rain is gone. And it's true, the sun is there. Nashville, Myrtle Beach, sunny skies have returned after what feels like days of rain. Unfortunately, not lasting too much longer, but you got a couple days break. So enjoy the whistling to work while you can. Here we go. Sunny uh, skies, a break for the southeast from all of that rain. We had eight days of rain straight for Myrtle Beach, Charlotte and Greenville. Uh, Thursday, the question mark. The clouds certainly will increase for all these cities. Maybe some showers are turning by Thursday. For now, though, we've got some sun and it's all thanks to high pressure building in sinking air. Compressing air doesn't allow the rising motion for clouds to form. Instead, you get warmer temperatures, you get clear skies, so it's going to be severe clear for at least a couple days across the southeast. For today, Atlanta sunny and 70, Montgomery 75, and if that's not warm enough for you, just wait a day. How about tomorrow? Close to 80 in Atlanta, while Raleigh and Wilmington will be in the upper 70s and Savannah in the low 80s. It is Atlanta, though, that does have that chance of rainy weather coming back in. Tuesday and Wednesday, sunny, but some showers Thursday, and then it really fills in the rain by the weekend in the southeast. Saturday looks like a sloppy one with rain coming back in. Viv, over to you. Well, another part of the country, Mark, can't seem to shake the chilly time so far this spring ahead. Who's shivering right now and where those cool temperatures are headed next? But first, dramatic video as floodwaters sweep away a house. Powerful storms flooded communities in New South Wales, Australia. At least three people died as up to a foot of rain fell in just 24 hours. Police say the flooding that resulted washed away more homes, falling trees crushed others. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Can a protein originally found in a jellyfish improve your memory? Our scientists say yes. Researchers have discovered a protein that actually supports healthier brain function. It's the breakthrough in a supplement called Prevagen. As we age, we lose proteins that support our brain. Prevagen supplements these proteins and has been clinically shown to improve memory. It's safe and effective. For support of healthier brain function, a sharper mind, and clearer thinking, try Prevagen for yourself today. This little guy is about to make his first deposit. We'd like to open up a savings account yes, for him. Yes. Great. Thanks to mom and dad and their safe driving bonus check from Allstate. Oh, look at this. Safe driving bonus. Are you safe driver? <laughs> Lucky little fella. Only Allstate gives you two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safe. See how much more an Allstate agent can do for... 7644-3100. Like in most families, dad's always the last to know. Oh. That's why accident forgiveness was the first thing he asked for when he switched to Allstate. Michael James? Ooh, middle name. Not good. Get accident forgiveness from Allstate and keep your rates from going up just because of an accident. agent can help better protect your family. Call one right now. Plus, drivers who switched saved an average of $498 a year. Just a few more ways the good hands are doing more than ever before. See what the personal service of an Allstate agent can do for you. Call 877-644-3100. You know those neighbors always making weird inventions out of junk in their garage? We just gave them their own TV show. Oh! Come on, Wind. I think I just made Mother Nature my bed. <laughs> One man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. <laughs> Brainstormers, Sundays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today. Scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 40%. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Chance of rain 50%. Wednesday, thunderstorms likely. High 83. Chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven-day outlook. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. I've got plans. And this is my baby right now. So it's just not the right time to get pregnant. That's why I chose Skyla. Skyla is the small, flexible IUD that prevents pregnancy for up to three years. So for me, there are no daily pills or monthly refills. I got my Skyla placed in just a few minutes at my OBGYN's office. And if I want to try to get pregnant, I can get it removed whenever I want. If you have a pelvic infection, get infections easily, or have certain cancers, don't use Skyla. Less than 1% of users get a serious infection called PID. If you have persistent pelvic or stomach pain, or if Skyla comes out, tell your doctor. Skyla may attach or go through the uterus and cause other problems. Pregnancy while using Skyla is uncommon, but can be life-threatening and may result in loss of pregnancy or fertility. Ovarian cysts may occur, but usually disappear. Bleeding and spotting may increase in the first three to six months and remain irregular. Periods over time usually become shorter, lighter, or may stop. Skyla does not protect against HIV or STDs. Talk to your OBGYN about making the move to Skyla. Check with your insurance to find out if you can get Skyla at no cost. All right, we talked briefly about some parts of the country shivering, and that would be you, Chicago. Check it out right now. We have fair skies, but look at the temperatures. Only in the middle 40s. We're expecting highs today not to get out of the mid 50s perhaps and the average high should at least be in the 60s so the April chill across the Midwest not only do we have that chilly air but look at the winter weather radar we have some snow to tell you about from the air ahead of Minnesota and kind of spiraling down across the northern and central parts of Wisconsin the upper peninsula of Michigan even over to your north and west Detroit of course no snow in Detroit right now but nonetheless we're talking about snow uh, accumulating snow here across the northern parts of Michigan, one to three inch accumulations are possible, but even heavier amounts across the upper peninsula here, three to five inches are possible. Anyway, you slice it, we have this chilly air in place, of course cold enough to support the snow even around the Duluth area, 31 degrees right now, with a little bit of light snow coming down, and look at you, Minneapolis, only in the upper 30s at this hour. And here's a look at the forecast highs today, again, running a good five to 15 degrees below average today and even tomorrow still slightly below average Cincinnati you're a good 12 degrees below average maybe slightly not as cold on Thursday so each day as we progress through the week getting a little less cold but nonetheless still below average and those winds that's a big factor you know whenever it's cold and then you add in the winds that just makes it feel even colder and those winds have been out of the north and west gusting at times to 35 and 40 miles per hour so that's making it feel a little more miserable, especially with it being the latter part of April, right? I mean, it would be different if this were January or something, and then it wouldn't feel so cold. The wind advisories remain in effect for us. southern Minnesota, even you, Chicago, under a wind advisory right now, extending all the way as far east as Pittsburgh. Mark? And Viv, we wish we could say that that cold air was staying just in the Midwest, but no, it's on the move. Hello, Northeast Corridor, Boston. Don't get used to temps in the low 60s. They're not gonna stay much longer. 50s for the bulk of the week as that cold air starts to pour on in. It is going to be a much more chilly scenario, stifling the severe weather across the eastern U.S. for a bit, but really knocking you down, not making you feel very spring-like either. It's gonna be an April chill into the Northeast Corridor. Let's start out by uh, showing you what's happening right now. We do have a little bit of rain activity here across the Green and White Mountains. We've got some rain, maybe even some rumbles of thunder across eastern Maine. Uh, most of you seeing quiet weather further south from there, including New York, where it's 61, and D.C., you are in the mid-60s. 
none of these temperatures are staying that way. The gusty northwest winds are going to start cranking because our jet stream is going to really take a dip and move its way towards the eastern United States. So Viv was just talking about the Great Lakes with those 5 to 15 degree below average high temps. They move. They make their way all the way into the northeast corridor. Get ready. It's going to be a much different picture in just a couple of days. Tomorrow's still warm. DC 72. That's actually a little bit above average and that's the end of it. The northwest flow is going to be kicking on in here. So New York 55. That's almost 10 degrees below average by by Friday, Pittsburgh, DC and New York all 5 to 10 degrees below average by the end of the week. And you know what? It's going to feel even colder than that because within here we're looking at strong northwest winds that are really going to be cranking. So there will actually be wind chill, wind chill values here in the northeast over the next couple of days. You look at New York where the average high is 63. You're close to that today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, almost 10 degrees below that. So Viv, it is going to be a chilly scenario, similar pattern for Boston. Over to you. Yeah, cold and wet of the Midwest and the Northeast, but just the opposite across the West. It is hot and dry here as crews are battling a wildfire in Corona, California. Now the brush fire has charred more than a thousand acres over the week weekend res residents had to be evacuated. They had to actually evacuate 300 homes threatened by the fires. So those people were allowed back home, but local media is reporting that this fire is only 55% contained. High performance car, but you're still wearing your indoor eyeglasses in the glare of the sun? Experience Xperia UV, superior polarized sun lenses, and experience the difference. High tech skis, and you're not wearing Xperia UV on the slopes? They eliminate 100% of blinding reflective glare and offer the maximum UV protection. Think the view can't get any better than this? Ask for Xperia UV, superior polarized sun lenses in your prescription for the best vision under the sun. Get $90 back combining Crizol, Verilux, and Transitions and a second pair with Xperio UV. I, I got bit by a snake. C'est pas poison. Poison? Oh, okay, oh wow. Okay, yeah. I feel that. C'est pas poison. That's definitely poison. Apparently, I'm immune to venom. Immune to Immune, venom. Steve. So you're saying you're gonna give me my credit score for free, right? And then you can ask me for my credit card so you can charge me on the down low. Two weeks later, look, credit karma. Oh, are you talking to websites again? It's saying free credit score. Credit karma? Yeah, it's actually free. Look, you don't have to put in your credit card information. <sighs> credit karma. Really free credit scores. Really, free. Fist bump. I'm excited to use HydroxyCut because I really want to lose weight. Hey, we're gonna live free. I lost 40 pounds. HydroxyCut really works. HydroxyCut is America's number one selling weight loss supplement brand. Lose weight your way. Mix and match gummies, tablets, and drink mix. Don't let more years go by and continue to pack on the pounds. Start as soon as you can. HydroxyCut lets you lose weight your way. And look for new HydroxyCut appetite control to help curb hunger for hours. The Weather Channel's most watched original program is back. Things were just going everywhere. And then it was silent. Tornado Alley premieres Monday at 9 on The Weather Channel. Brought to you by Champion Windows, Sunrooms, and Home Exteriors. Every home needs a champion. We all want that little black dress moment, that look good, feel good moment. But when you're overweight, it's more like little black dress. I don't even want to get dressed. I'm tired. My knees hurt. I'm not going up those stairs again moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm Marie and I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem. Now you can lose weight fast with Nutrisystem's Fast 5 Plus. Lose five pounds in your first week, plus one inch off your waist or your money back guarantee. You'll get perfectly portioned meals that are ready in minutes. So there's no counting, no measuring, no guesswork. Simple. Order your 28 day Nutrisystem plan right now, including Fast 5 Plus. Get one week of specially selected meals. Plus, you'll get one week of energizing shakes free and one week of craving crusher shakes free. This is your moment. Don't wait. Start looking and feeling great today. Call now, 855-807-THIN and lose your first five pounds fast. 
Sundays. One man's trash did the work. Is another man's totally awesome beer can space heater. Hi. Brainstormers, Sundays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms, high 84, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 40%. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, low 73, chance of rain 50%. Wednesday, thunderstorms likely, high 83, chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. is now in its fourth year of extreme drought and as the conditions worsen could it mean a rough fire season well traditionally fire season doesn't really get going until late summer into fall but that's been changing in our continuing series california in crisis dave malkoff explains how the ongoing drought is sparking an earlier start to wildfire season when California is desperate for rain, wildfires light up the hillsides. This one, just last week, is part of the new normal. Drought now covers 98% of the state. Nearly half of California struggles in a top-of-the-scale drought. Just about the only raincoats you'll see here in Ventura County are on the workers picking strawberries underneath the farm sprinklers. Most of California's soil is desperately dry. So are the plants. They crack and snap with every step. Yeah, you can hear it as you're stepping on it. This is very dry. Is that unusual? Uh, for this time of year, a little unusual. Ventura County hand crews tell us this is the kind of dryness they normally see in late summer. Not in April. We're in Camarillo at Camarillo Airport. The county's firefighting helicopters, four of them. So this is ready to go right now. Absolutely, could have a seat there. Sure. Are constantly on standby to launch. More firefighters are working more hours on these fires. We're having fires that we would normally see not happening this time of the year. Not every helicopter here is ready for firefighting with a water tank on the bottom, but every helicopter could. Within 30 minutes, they could install this tank on that Huey and be up in the air. As the brush burns down there, researchers have more bad news. They say this is the worst drought in 1,200 years. The mountains only have 5% of the snow they should have this time of year. That means fire season will last all year in California. Hiking with the Ventura County Fire Department, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Thanks, Dave. And that ongoing drought is really evident in the drought monitor. I mean, the whole state is colored in in at least some fashion, but focusing on the red and the deep red colors, those encompass 67% of the state. Three months ago, 78% of the state had extreme drought or worse, exceptional drought. That said, with this time of year, this is the wet season. We should have almost erased that deficit, and instead it barely budged on the, uh, for the benefit. So it's still really high and will get worse over the summer. It remains dry and we'll continue to keep you updated on that story. But let's change gears a little bit now as we want to take you back to last week, a crash along I-80 in Wyoming. Now more than 40 cars and trucks were involved in a huge pileup on Interstate 80 in Wyoming on Thursday afternoon. According to the highway uh, patrol, uh, 33 semi-trucks and 12 other vehicles crashed during a blizzard between Cheyenne and Laramie. So what's happening here, as you hear those crashes mm -hmm. in the distance, there's a lady who got out of her car, passed the guardrail to try to stay safe, and was just filming because she knew that the visibility had gone way down. And the trucks are just screaming past her. 
and then you hear those crashes in the distance. Those crashes get closer and closer and closer to the camera as the backup continues to grow. She was definitely in a safe spot, but to actual, actually video these crashes must have been uh, terrifying to her, I'm sure. But uh, again, we'll keep you updated on this story. Yeah. Some 40 to 60 vehicles involved. All right, we're back after this. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, minor damage or major disaster, when you need us most, we're there, State Farm, we're a force of nature too. Now everyone who uses catheters can get a better catheter with Liberator Medical's free catheter sample pack. These new catheters are better than ever, easier to use, more convenient, comfortable, virtually pain-free. Don't wait. Call now and get your free catheter sample pack. There's the all-new compact catheter for women, pre-lubricated, no drips, no mess, fits in your purse. The self-lubricated catheter, it lubricates itself in the package, comfortable, no mess. The closed system catheter, pre-lubricated with its own collection bag, proven to reduce UTIs. The discreet pocket catheter, curved to fit in your pocket to go anywhere. The polished eyelid catheter for micro-smooth comfort, reduces friction and pain. Call now, we'll also bill Medicare and your insurance for you. Call for your free catheter sample pack with free shipping. Call Liberator Medical. Call 1-800-601-3450. That's 1-800-601-3450. You know, some people have told me reverse mortgages sound too good to be true. I mean, you get cash out of your home, no monthly payments, and still own your home. There's got to be a catch, right, Jesse? Well, there isn't. It's like any other mortgage, only with reverse mortgage, the loan's paid back when the last borrower leaves the home. In fact, reverse mortgages are based on a notion that President Reagan signed into law over 25 years ago in order to help seniors remain in their homes. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you may qualify for a government-insured reverse mortgage with AAG that allows you to turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. And with AAG, there are never any credit score requirements. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive a new free information kit, including a reverse mortgage guide and DVD, personal stories from people like you, and a brand new family guide for children and loved ones all absolutely free with no obligation. AAG can help you pay off credit card debt, eliminate monthly mortgage payments, and provide some real retirement security. Call 1-800-661-0312 today to get your free AAG reverse mortgage information kit and bonus DVD. In the kits, you'll receive a helpful three-part guide. The first will show you how a government-insured reverse mortgage allows you to access the equity in your home as tax-free cash. Half a million people have already done it. The second booklet contains stories told by people just like you who've had their lives changed forever using a reverse mortgage. And the third guide is full of helpful answers and information for children and loved ones. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. There's simply an effective way for folks just like you to get the cash you need to enjoy your retirement. Call 1-800-661-0312 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. Call 1-800-661-0312 now. AAG, the best advice for a better life. So we build things to harness it. This is about how far you can push yourself. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, scattered thunderstorms, high 84, winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chance of rain 40%. 
tonight. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low, 73. Chance of rain, 50%. Wednesday, thunderstorms likely. High, 83. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven-day outlook. One man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. <laughs> Brainstormers, Sundays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. seeing those pictures, you know you're watching the Weather Channel. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Vivian Brown. And I'm Mark Elliott. And Viv, all I can say is what a difference a day makes. Mm -hmm. We had quite a busy day yesterday, including storms in Atlanta. Yeah, right over the Weather Channel headquarters and just off to the north from there. Check it out. We had all kinds of hail pounding the pavement in Roswell, Georgia yesterday. Severe storms moved across the northern suburbs of Atlanta throughout the afternoon, bringing intense downpours, rain, hail, wind, tornado sirens, sending residents to shelter inside homes and businesses. Uh, the National Weather Service is out there doing some surveys just to confirm that there were no tornadoes. But as of now, nothing reported as a touchdown. So. The Northeast Corridor, you had all kinds of mess too. The D.C. area, look at this, lightning, thunder, rain, that sums up your day pretty well across the Northeast. And just when you thought it might be over, we've got another round of severe weather to make sure that you are prepared for, because it's coming to many of these same locations. Viv, bring us an update. All right, let's talk about that next round of storms, because as we detail the scenario, the atmosphere is just revamping, and we could be dealing with more storms as we head into say Thursday afternoon over parts of the south. But right now, again, we have fair skies in the Atlanta area. That'll be the case again general scope of things in terms of tornadoes year to date we are far below average which is definitely a good thing uh, up to this point on average we should have over 250 tornado reports but we've only had about 118 so that puts us about 54 percent below average now we are setting the stage for more storms that could produce tornadoes over parts of the south say on thursday as mentioned here is that system it's kind of a spin right now off the southern coast of California. It is the energy from this system that's going to slide across a good part of the southwest on the heels of those upper air fast jet stream winds and it'll make its way across central and west Texas. As it does so, that's when it's going to meet up with the low level atmosphere that is conducive for the severe weather. The winds coming in from the south pumping in that deep rich moisture over parts of Texas, Louisiana and southern Oklahoma. So come tomorrow even, we look for the threat of the storms in East Texas and to Louisiana. And even tomorrow night, kind of spreading a little farther east, just outside of Jackson, Mississippi. So as these ingredients come together, tomorrow we're focusing our attention with the low-level winds coming from the south, the upper air winds coming from the west. That's going to increase the chance of tornadic activity. A 40% chance here over northeast Texas tomorrow, and a 30% chance there over the southern parts of Oklahoma. We will be here for sure, watching the radar for you closely. Mark? And one of the biggest threats today, Viv, is actually the lightning chance across South Florida. As you can see right now, we've got showers and storms in extreme South Florida, maybe clipping the Homestead area, but for now, missing Isla Mirada, Marathon, Key West, the line of showers and storms just north of there. That said, We've got a lot of stormy weather still to come because, you know, a, a traditional spot for the U.S. is exactly here. It is the highest frequency for annual lightning uh, strikes in Florida. Florida also the dubious distinction of being the most lightning deaths on average per year here in the U.S. because of those lightning strikes. So you might be wondering, how do those lightning strikes occur? And you know what? You might think that they all work 
you know, like the traditional one, from the ground and hitting the body. And yes, that does occur sometimes, a direct strike where the main discharge channel comes over and through a person. It's most common in open areas like on a golf course. More common may be the side flash where someone's near a tree or near a tall object, the actual lightning strike hits the tall object and then the side bolt comes from there and strikes a person. The current can actually jump. The most frequent way that someone's struck by lightning is when the uh, lightning actually strikes the ground and the energy travels outward from the strike either through water or through the current uh, on the ground itself and then is able to strike a person from underneath, which is a scary thought, right? So why we tell you to go inside. If you're touching a metal object outside or maybe uh, you're taking a shower or using a phone, you can, can, you can get struck through that and a streamer is kind of an extra bolt that comes off the main flow. That happens occasionally too. Viv. Well, let's talk more about the break that we're having today over parts of the South, including New Orleans. It is a little easier today, right, in the Big Easy. 71 degrees right now, just some high level cirrus clouds seemingly, but for the most part, we have a beautiful blue sky enjoying all of the sunshine say from New Orleans points east all the way to the southeast coast so the sunshine returns for the southeast we're getting somewhat of a break today there's the high pressure that's building in the wake of all of the storm clouds that have pushed on out to sea along with the primary part of the cold front the southern part still kind of draped down across south central Florida unfortunately you are not clearing out if you're over central or south Florida but the the rest of the southeast looking good with this area of high pressure building in. The air is sinking. You don't get the clouds to form and just lots and lots of sunshine today. Those temperatures in the low 70s, dew points are low too. So not only is it sunnier, but it's drier and the atmosphere is actually cleaner uh, always behind the cold front. So that is definitely good news and this will continue right on through tomorrow. So let's get out and enjoy today in particular around the Atlanta area. Tomorrow, slightly warmer, up to 78, but lots and lots of sunshine. Now, after tomorrow, that's when we uh, start to go downhill and increase the chances of rain and storms, but we'll keep you posted on that. In fact, Mark has more details on that right now. Mark? Yeah, Viv, you know, uh, how about this view? From atop the Coca-Cola World Headquarters building in downtown Atlanta, we, at this time yesterday, were looking at this camera as a tornado-worn storm was rolling through the northern suburbs of Atlanta. We're looking out this camera and looking at those storms on the north side of the area. Today, nothing but blue sky, a little bit of haze, maybe some pollen returning to the air, but hey, you'll take it, right? Because it has been so soggy. Unfortunately, the break in the rain for the southeast really doesn't last all that long. We're looking at a very rainy month so far. How about Atlanta? You had eight days in a row with rain in April. So from the 12th to the 19th, raining. That ties to the third longest streak on record. Meanwhile, in April in New Orleans, 10 days in a row with rain from the 9th to the 18th. That breaks the previous record, right? Just shattered the record. It has been so soggy. And unfortunately, after a break, it's coming right back in. On Thursday, we're looking at our next round of rain across much of the south. Severe weather will be featured as well across Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas on Friday. Coming back into the rest of the southeast on Saturday, heavy rain, thunderstorm activity. Severe weather can't be ruled out either all the way to the southeast states. And the ground is just so saturated. You get down towards the Gulf, Mobile, almost a foot of rain so far in April. Birmingham has had over seven inches of rain. Atlanta over six, Nashville over five. All of these areas absolutely waterlogged and with all those rainy days on the way, look at what's still to come just through Friday. Remember the heart of the rain for the southeast comes in Saturday. So just through Friday, we're looking at one, two, maybe three inches of rain across the southeast. So that could add up to some flooding storms, especially Saturday back into Atlanta. We're back after this. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, overcast, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 82. 
tonight. Thunderstorms, low 73. Chance of rain, 80%. Wednesday, thunderstorms, high 83. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. Okay, ladies, oh, I think. whenever you're ready. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I got this. Oh, um, no, I'll get it. Uh, let me get it. Uh, 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 I don't you? want you to pay for this. It's not happening, honey. Let her get it. She got her safe driving bonus check from Allstate last week, and it's her treat. What about a tip? Oh, here's one. Get an Allstate agent. Nice. Switch today and get two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safely only from Allstate. Call 866-788-0900 now. Ah, here we go. Ah, hold on, man. Is that a leak up there? That's a trip. Okay. <laughs> now that's a leak. That is a leak! And if you don't have Allstate renter's insurance, game over. Protect your valuables from things like water damage for as low as $4 a month when you add renter's insurance to your Allstate auto policy. Call 866-788-0900 now. And if you're a safe driver, you can save up to 45%. Just a few more ways Allstate is changing car insurance for good. Call a local Allstate agent today. The Fiat 500 isn't alone anymore. It's part of a big Italian family. How do Crest 3D white white strips compare to a whitening toothpaste? Let's see. The paste didn't seem to do much for me. The white strips made a huge difference. But that's not fair. <laughs> Crest white strips work below the enamel surface to whiten 25 times better than a leading whitening toothpaste. Crest white strips, the way to whiten. I've got plans. And this is my baby right now. So it's just not the right time to get pregnant. That's why I chose Skyla. Skyla is the small, flexible IUD that prevents pregnancy for up to three years. So for me, there are no daily pills or monthly refills. I got my Skyla placed in just a few minutes at my OBGYN's office. And if I want to try to get pregnant, I can get it removed whenever I want. If you have a pelvic infection, get infections easily, or have certain cancers, don't use Skyla. Less than 1% of users get a serious infection called PID. If you have persistent pelvic or stomach pain, or if Skyla comes out, tell your doctor. Skyla may attach or go through the uterus and cause other problems. Pregnancy while using Skyla is uncommon, but can be life-threatening and may result in loss of pregnancy or fertility. Ovarian cysts may occur, but usually disappear. Bleeding and spotting may increase in the first three to six months and remain irregular. Periods over time usually become shorter, lighter, or may stop. Skyla does not protect against HIV or STDs. Talk to your OBGYN about making the move to Skyla. Check with your insurance to find out if you can get Skyla at no cost. You've probably seen images of animal abuse before. And if you're anything like me, you might have wanted to turn away. Because the thought of an innocent animal being harmed is very painful to see, and it's even harder to believe. But the images of animal cruelty are real, and they are undeniable. Behind every one of these images are the eyes of a living and breathing, suffering animal. They're depending on us to rescue them. If we turn away, they lose all hope. This is why I'm asking you to join me in helping these animals right now. Please visit this website or call the number on your screen right now and join the ASPCA with your $18 monthly donation. It's only 60 cents a day. Your donation will help animals immediately, giving them medical attention, food, and loving care. Sign up now. We will send you the photo of an animal you're helping and this ASPCA t-shirt free with our thanks. The more I learn about animal abuse, the more I realize we cannot pretend that it's not happening. And if we all do our part to help, we can save the lives of so many animals who are hurting. Please go online or call now.
So how about that? All of those images grouped together because that was one powerhouse storm that came across much of the country. Let's show you the progression of this storm system, and it's all thanks to this area of low pressure spiraling its way over the four corners all the way back to last Thursday, right? It was sitting here for the couple of days. The snow side of things from Thursday into Friday, where we had somewhere between four to five feet of snow in some of the ski resort areas of the Colorado Rockies. So epic spring snow and a spring skiing event there. Meanwhile, out ahead of this low, severe weather started to erupt. On Friday, you notice this big plume of moisture that set up shop across Texas and really into Oklahoma too. That line of storms kicked off 82 storm reports, at least preliminarily, into the Storm Prediction Center. And it got worse from there. From Friday into Saturday, not only did we have storms coming across the south in two different waves, we also had some storms near the center of our area of low pressure and into the center of the country. So the preliminary storm report number went from 82 Friday to 164 on Saturday. Sunday was the busiest weather day with regards to severe weather. We had storms come across the southeast. We had storms near the center of our low. We had storms in the Ohio Valley. 442 reports on Sunday. Monday featured storms in the southeast and the mid-Atlantic. And then here we go into today, a cooler pattern limiting the severe weather threat. Viv, over to you. Well, to say the least, it has been a busy three to four days ago. But what about the next three, four to seven days? Well, let's check out the forecast. Starting with today, all's quiet. Oh, yes, thankfully, over much of the southeast and the Tennessee Valley. Some leftover light rains, but this is moving away later on. But notice the chillier air with some snow even over the air ahead of Minnesota, the upper peninsula of Michigan today. And that pocket of cool air is going to continue moving east and spread across the upper peninsula of Michigan tomorrow. Maybe some chilly rain kind of breaking out ahead of it. But it is down here across Texas and Oklahoma, parts of Louisiana, that will be focusing our attention for the threat of storms that could turn severe, including possible tornadic activity in Texas and Oklahoma. You know we'll be here keeping you updated. Thursday, still enough instability for the scattered showers and storms to break out across parts of the lower Mississippi Valley. And then Friday, seemingly just getting even more moisture filled here and will push some of the rain as far north as Minneapolis with afternoon highs only in the middle 50s. Your Friday looking good though from Detroit to Cleveland over to Pittsburgh. Atlanta may be squeezing out the end of the week with some fairly decent conditions, but just in time for the weekend, the wet scenario returns and a pretty large area of rain from Georgia toward the mid-Atlantic and back into the lower Great Lakes area. Sunday, more spotty in nature here over the mid-Atlantic. And then we'll be watching closer to the end of the week into the weekend for the wet weather in the Pacific Northwest. Here's a quick look at the forecast for Monday. Mark. And as we go to break, we want to show you something extremely amazing, something that most of us here at the Weather Channel have never seen before. Amanda Curtis sent us this photo, and look carefully. One double rainbow, but two double rainbows in the same location, and it got us wondering, how does this happen? There's only one sun going through raindrops. How do you get two different bows with two different angles? The current hypothesis is that the sun came through the raindrops in a normal way to give one of those rainbow pairs. The other one might have bounced the reflection of the sun off Oyster Bay, and then that reflection went through those same raindrops to give a second double rainbow. When the moment's spontaneous, why pause to take a pill? Or stop to find a bathroom? Cialis for daily use is approved to treat both erectile dysfunction and the urinary symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently, day or night. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or any symptoms of an allergic reaction, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and the free 30-tablet trial. This is about how far you can push yourself.
currently in our area, 82 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, overcast. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 82. Tonight, thunderstorms. Low 73. Chance of rain 80%. Wednesday, thunderstorms. High 83. Chance of rain 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. You have to take this back. You wanted the floral fantasy? But I only had this swatch. I never saw how it looked. At Lazy Boy, you don't have to worry how the fabrics, leathers, and options will look, because you can see it before you order it. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. I have a video I want you to watch, and no matter what, I need you to stay focused. Don't take your eyes off the screen. hard to stay focused. Text message alerts from Chevy let you send a text response at the touch of a button so you can focus on driving. This will make it a little easier to keep my eye on the road. It's amazing. Wet Willie's what they called him on the street. Rogue hoses, rain, and juicy llamas. Soaked his pants, waist to feet. Duluth dry on the fly pants save the day. All that water got wicked right away. He goes by Bill today. Duluth dry on the fly pants. Unwet your pants. Get a pair. Only at DuluthTrading.com. You may not be a prepper now, but you will be. Whether the next disaster is man-made or wrought by Mother Nature, you need a plan. WiseFoodStorage.com's emergency gourmet meals are made in the USA, delicious, easy to prepare, just add water, and packaged and proportioned perfectly, eliminating waste and creating a shelf life of up to 25 years. Why face your next emergency on an empty stomach? Request your free sample today at WiseFoodStorage.com. My foundation and the Senators Foundation decided to partner because we both have the same focus when we talk about um, our youth, when we talk about our communities. You know, working together with Dwayne Wade on a Game Changers initiative, it's amazing. We couldn't think of a better partner. So together when we look at the challenges that we're facing down here and we hold hands with Dwayne, we can cast that net right across the world and tell everybody our struggle and make a difference. Let's change the game together. One look at that Red Baron pizza, and you're going to love it from the first bite to the last. Because a perfect pizza requires a perfect crust. The sauce commands your attention. The cheese begs you to savor every bite. The pepperoni declares you have reached pizza nirvana. And that last slice? What's it worth to you? A perfect crust means a better pizza. Red Baron, love at first bite. The authentic taste of a brick oven pizza. Now available from Red Baron. The Weather Channel's most watched original program. And it just hit us. Is back. This is just the beginning of what's to come. I'm first. Well, we want to check on what has happened, of course, over the last 24 hours. This was yesterday when we were dealing with the wild weather in the area. Uh, you're looking at scenes from Cumberland, Maryland, parts of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast really had some rough time. This is a time-lapse view of the storms that moved over the Cumberland, Maryland area. You see the clouds build and the storms rage in the area. And then a pot of gold with a rainbow when the sun finally came back out. Now storms hit Hagerstown, Maryland too with pea size and dime size hailstones yesterday. Now let's check in with Mark. He's making sure you know what's coming next. Yeah, don't you wish the severe weather would take a bit of a break after the storms we had in the east yesterday? A magnificent time lapse there, but unfortunately the severe weather threat is coming back. Let's talk about this severe threat as it ramps up over the next couple of days and it starts things off here 
all thanks to a, a, an area of low pressure off the west coast, believe it or not. Here's this dip in the jet stream. That's going to be exiting, allowing for the subtly winds, the warm up, the moisture will all return through the plains. Look at this little spiral. That's our next big weather maker coming across the country, and we can actually time this out for you. Starting off for Tuesday afternoon, here's our area of low pressure that's going to be coming in. That's at the mid levels of the atmosphere, about 500 millibars. Our trough in the east, that'll be leaving. Notice our trough pulling away as we start to see our area of low pressure building and coming on in. A couple of different lobes of uh, mid-level spin coming out of the west over the next several days. All the way through Friday, it doesn't clear through, and so our severe threat continues. All Tomorrow we start things off, low-level moisture coming out of the south, but the jet stream cutting across the plains. That's a big turn, right? We get a big spin out of the south at the low levels of the atmosphere, almost due west to east in the upper part of the atmosphere. That'll support some organized thunderstorms, kind of translate that spin into them and potentially give us some tornadoes. Plus with a warm front here, we get that enhanced turning right near the front. So that's North Texas uh, in towards Louisiana, and that's exactly where the heart of the severe weather will be tomorrow. Severe weather from San Antonio to Dallas, Oklahoma City, over towards Shreveport and New Orleans as well. But the tornado threat there in North Texas, how about Dallas toward kind of four Tomorrow, storms developing in the afternoon, hail, damaging winds likely, and an isolated tornado threat. Now, as we go from Wednesday, uh, tomorrow into Thursday, Wednesday into Thursday, not much changing. We're looking at increasing amounts of moisture, so maybe even more thunderstorm uh, coverage. That said, the jet stream's a little bit further towards the north, except the mid-level winds have that perfect turn for you from due south at the surface to the mid-levels coming west to east, and you've got that warm front still stuck in the area, giving that little extra turning point. And so the severe weather hasn't moved much. San Antonio, Dallas over to New Orleans for Thursday. And once again, a Torcon value of four for the Big D as we work our way through Thursday. Looks like evening, maybe even overnight storms. The storm system itself doesn't totally leave through Friday. So the jet stream cuts across the area. We get the moisture coming in from the Gulf, a stronger surface low and the dry line. All those adding together, Viv, for a, a widespread severe weather event here on Friday. Over to you. All right. Well, as we get you ready for what's coming in the days ahead, we want to take a look back across the southeast after the region really got rocked with severe weather yesterday. Check this out in North Carolina. Look at the hail just pounding the area. This video coming out out of Kannapolis, just outside of Charlotte in North Carolina, with reports of quarter size and uh, hailstones and even winds gusting over 60 miles per hour in some places. And those storms moving through Pennsylvania spawned this huge wall cloud over the town of Chambersburg. This is along I-81, the corridor there. This video was shot right before a tornado warning was issued, but thankfully no actual reports of a tornado. And a hailstorm across parts of Georgia. This along I-85. The Atlanta area was under a tornado warning this time yesterday, and we were here covering it minute by minute for you. Take a look at this surveillance video out of Citrus Springs, Florida, because at the same time we had storms in Florida. It starts out as heavy rain quickly turns into a massive burst of wind, uh, bending the trees and sending debris just flying everywhere. Yesterday was quite a mess, to say the least. That is some wild video, oh, classic yes. downburst. You know, all mm -hmm. that was sinking air and then the rain pushed pushing it down even Absolutely. faster, mm -hmm. they can do a lot of damage. All right, what happened yesterday and what's coming next? We have all the details. Yep. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, overcast, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Hi. Tonight, thunderstorms, low 73. Chance of rain, 80%. Wednesday, thunderstorms, high 83. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook.
right now on Weather Center Live. When it rains, it pours, and sometimes it hails too. We saw all of this too well Monday afternoon and evening as storms raced across the southeast. We're going to share your amazing views coming up. And what a difference a day makes. Now, from tornado warnings yesterday across parts of the south to right now in Atlanta. Just a little breezy, but you see the sun is out. So we will enjoy the sun while we can because we have to tell you about the returning rain. We also have severe storms that will be returning as you plan for tomorrow and the several days ahead. We're talking about more hail, more wind, and the threat for tornadoes. We're preparing you for all of it, and the coverage continues right here, right now on Weather Center Live. A very busy Monday came to a close. Thank goodness. Happy Tuesday to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Elliott. And I'm Vivian Brown. Yes, after dealing with the harsh realities of winter so long, spring is really picking up. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking about powerhouse storm after powerhouse storm, days of severe weather. Yeah, from the south to the mid-Atlantic, you saw it all yesterday. And unfortunately, those scenes were not pretty. I mean, check out this lightning show over College Park, Maryland. Along with the storms came heavy rain rain and strong winds. You're getting a break today, but more storms are possible tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, in Anderson, South Carolina, storms ripped the roof right off of this house and the back of this very same house, well, it just simply collapsed. The family was inside of the home at the time, but luckily no one was hurt. Storms also uprooted some nearby trees, resulting, of course, from the high winds. Heavy rain and quarter-sized hail also reported across the city. All right, in Miami, we had some stormy conditions yesterday too, right, Mark? Yeah, and you know what? We're seeing it again. Here's a live look at Miami. Still some people out on the beaches, brave in the elements, but there are elements nearby, right? We've got clouds, we've got rain, we've got storms all being reported, moving through extreme South Florida. And you know what? The stormy weather, not done yet. We've got several more rounds of storms on the way as we go through the midweek. That same front that brought the severe weather to the southeast and the east coast yesterday, not really clearing through Florida. So right now we've got this kind of parade of showers and storms pushing their way across South Florida. At times, these storms have had lightning strikes with them. Here's the high resolution radar. You can see that the storm line is trying to bend a little bit further south, but we're also filling it in towards the east coast, towards I-95. Miami, North Miami Beach, Fort Lauderdale, maybe eventually Boynton Beach getting in on the action too as showers and storms will build through the afternoon. In fact, we can use our high resolution radar to show you what the models think will happen through the rest of the day. And as we roll this along, look, from Lake Okeechobee into Central Florida, uh, you get scattered showers and storms. And overnight, another round comes in from the Gulf. It's going to be a bit of a soggy setup over the next couple of days. And again, it's all because of that same front stalling out. It doesn't get to clear out the high moisture levels. If anything, abundant low-level moisture still flows into Florida over the next several days and interacts with that stalled out front. So for today, you'll be in and out of the showers and thunderstorms. That threat not changing much. Tomorrow, we're looking at showers and storms. Into Thursday, we're looking at showers and storms. Babe. And we're keeping the lightning bolt on the map all the way through. Over to you. Yeah, that stalled front still creating storms over South Florida. But it's a whole nother system that will increase the severe weather threat over other parts of the South. In fact, I mean, when you look at the yearly annual rate, we are below average based on a 20 year average. By this time of year, we should have had reports of over 250 tornadoes, but so far, maybe 118. So we're running below average as far as that is concerned, which is a great thing. Of course, no one is complaining about that. Hope we stay below average for the rest of the year. But we are watching a little disturbance here off the southern coast of California. It's an area of low pressure that will kind of attach to the upper air fast moving winds of the jet stream and it'll push this system very quickly off to the east over the central parts of Texas. Now at the same time tomorrow at the surface we'll have the winds coming in from the south and that's going to pull in all of that low level moisture kind of setting the stage for the strong severe storms even the potential for tornadoes. Even tomorrow night the atmosphere will still be very unstable for the stormy conditions. So then we have our Torricon values of four that means a 40 percent 
percent chance of tornadoes over north central Texas and a 30 percent chance of tornadoes within a 50 mile radius anyway of the southern parts of Oklahoma. So we will be here tomorrow, but we want you to know right now, heads up for you because the threat is real and you know we'll be the first one to let you know if a tornado watch, a tornado warning is issued for your area. Back to you, Mark. And for now in the southeast, the rain is gone, so let's follow the sun. We're looking at Nashville. We're looking at Myrtle Beach. Both areas back to sunny skies after seeing day after rain. You know what? We want this sunshine to last for a bit. We need the grounds to dry out. It has been so soggy that flooding is a big concern here over the next several days. So that's something that we're going to watch very carefully when the rain does return. But for now, let's focus on the sunny side of things because we're getting a break from the very soggy pattern. Uh, we had eight days of rain in Myrtle Beach. We had eight days of rain in Charlotte as well as Greenville, South Carolina. Seven straight days with rain in Raleigh. It looks like at least today and tomorrow, all of these cities will be sunny question mark coming in Thursday maybe some clouds and showers especially early in the day for many of these cities but for now it's high pressure that's what's in control it's keeping the clouds away you notice the return flow around that high is kicking up some cloud cover maybe even some storms in northeast Texas but the rest of the southeast has cleared out dramatically that sinking air from the high is going to keep things quiet so look for sunshine through midweek here until that high moves off enough and then everybody goes back to that regime coming off the Gulf of Mexico Mexico with that moisture plume open for business. Today, sunny in Atlanta near 70, a comfortably cool day for springtime. We look towards tomorrow, upper 70s though in Atlanta, at Tallahassee flirting with 90. We're going to see a lot of that heat returning. That said, Atlanta, you've only got a couple of days with sunshine. We're looking at Tuesday and Wednesday into the upper 70s. Thursday, the clouds and the showers arrive. And Viv, it does appear that by the weekend, we see an even more robust rain coming back to much of the southeast. Well, let me tell you this. Another part of the country can't seem to shake the chilly times so far this spring ahead. Who's shivering right now and where those cool temperatures will go? But first, dramatic video as floodwaters sweep away a house these powerful storms in South Wales Australia the FDA issued a public notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh bladder mesh pelvic sling and bladder sling please call now if you had one of these devices implanted in the last five years you may be entitled to a cash award if you had a transvaginal mesh bladder mesh pelvic sling or bladder sling in the last five years Please call 1-866-686-7952 now. Now everyone who uses catheters can get a better catheter with Liberator Medical's free catheter sample pack. These new catheters are better than ever, easier to use, more convenient, comfortable, virtually pain-free. Don't wait. Call now and get your free catheter sample pack. There's the all-new compact catheter for women. Pre-lubricated, no drips, no mess, fits in your purse. The self-lubricated catheter. It lubricates itself in the package. Comfortable. No mess. The closed system catheter. Pre-lubricated with its own collection bag. Proven to reduce UTIs. The discreet pocket catheter. Curved to fit in your pocket to go anywhere. The polished eyelet catheter for micro-smooth comfort. Reduces friction and pain. Call now. We'll also bill Medicare and your insurance for you. Call for your free catheter sample pack with free shipping. Call Liberator Medical. Call 1-800-601-3450. That's 1-800-601-3450. I'm Sam. Jim's here as well this morning. We're all in this together. Yeah, that was pretty Yeah, awesome. that was good. And if you're watching AMHQ, then you know we got you up and out this morning. We love to see your pictures. All you got to do is show us something that's amazing out there. Every picture you share, we'll try to share it as well. Currently...